Yo, what's good, everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doula. Another day being charged up. And today, we're going to see, can a team of the best six men win a ring in 2K23? So we're here in 2K23. We're starting in the year of 2005. I should have started in 06. That would have been better. But we're choosing the Toronto Raptors because they're from the six. And we have all of the best six men. Uh, all these guys won six man of the year awards. I'm pretty sure some of these guys did. And the rest are just really good six men. So we're going to see, can they win a ring? They're not usually in this position. They're more so coming off the bench. They don't have the responsibility to, you know, really be the main, the, the focal point and win a ring. Uh, some of these guys have won a ring, you know, Manu Ginobili, Kevin McHale, Lamar Odom. Um, a lot, actually, most of these guys have won a ring. But yeah, comment down below, who do you think the greatest sixth man of all time is? I think it has to be Lou Will. I think he's, he's probably my, my number one. Or Jamal Crawford. You know, they kind of traded back on four sixth man of the year awards. But yeah, before we get into it, man, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below any other ideas you want to see. Let's get into it. All right, so going over the entire team, here we go. We have Kevin McHale, who I didn't know this, but he was uh, he was six man. I thought he was a starter with the Celtics, like Larry Bird and them. So he's on the team, a good power forward, our tallest player, I believe. And then Manu Ginobili, of course, we know him from the Spurs. Then Lamar Odom, who played with the Lakers. Um, and then, of course, Jamal Crawford. Detlef Shrimp, who was the Supersonics with Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. Then we got Jason Terry, who is crazy because he had a tattoo of uh, the, the Mavericks winning a chip before the season even started. So that was kind of crazy. Then John Starks, Del Curry, Ricky Pierce, and the youngest player, or, you know, the, yeah, the lowest overall, 70 overall, Lou Will. Now we're starting them all off as rookies, and we're just going to progress and see how long it takes until they can win a ring, which I think won't take that long, to be honest with you, because a lot of these guys are Hall of Famers. Manu is coming off the bench, so Manu's going to stay at his role as sixth man, and then... You know, I imagine Lou Will, over the years, he's going to become a starter. But this is what we have going on so far, so we'll go ahead and simulate to All-Star Weekend. Now, I think in real life, just like last year, Tyler Hero won six man of the year because he's with the Heat. Um, And then, I don't know who else is really good coming off the bench. I can't even think of any. You know, um, when I played basketball, I, I wasn't sixth man. I think I was like, um, you know, 14th man. Um, You know, that's neither here nor there. If you do play basketball, comment down below, what position do you play and like, are you a starter or are you a sick man? I think the goal for this video should be not just to win one ring, I think, I think we can win many. I'm gonna go for six rings. Everything is six today. So six rings and then one of our guys has to win MVP. And of course, one of our guys has to win six man of the year award. All right, our record half of the year is 19 and 29. Uh, you know, that's not the best, but again, the real, oh damn. Yeah, Kevin McHale is triggered. Why are you triggered? That's the question. He's averaging 13 points, 9 reads. Why is he triggered, though? Like, you got Jamal Crawford. He's feeling unsettled. Jason Terry's restless. All right, no one's happy. But it's all good. You would think they would be happy, though, because they're getting a role that they never get, which is being a starter. But, you know, we'll let it play out. All right, year one, Gilbert wins MVP and Rookie of the Year. Goes to Chris Paul, as expected. I don't think any of our guys would win it. And sixth man goes to Ronald Murray, who I don't even think is a real person. We could find out, you know, there's some random people that 2K just has as, like, generic players. Ronald Murray, um, he's he is indeed a real player, um, but you wouldn't even know that because he he the school he went to was the Community College of Philadelphia. No, you don't even know who he is, but you know actually we learned something new today, I guess. All right, all wait no we didn't make the playoffs did we? No we didn't. Raptors missed the playoffs. It's all good. How do we do as a team? Let's see our stats. Mikhail's our best player. He averaged 13 and nine. Lamar Odom with 16 points. Ginobili with 15 coming off the bench. Jason Terry's our point guard. He averaged 14.7. Uh, okay. Anyway, no one really, no one's really standing out. Ricky Pierce is someone that I don't really know too much about. Um, but yeah, I guess he was a really good six man. And how is Lou Will doing? Lou Will didn't even play. He didn't touch the wow. Yeah, he didn't touch the court once, but in due time. And Del Curry averaging one point per game, which is which is great. No big deal. I, I'm not I'm not thinking much will happen until like year three or four when they really reach their potential. But this year, the 76ers win a ring with Chris Webber. So Chris Webber and, oh no, because Allen Iverson is on the team. Yeah, okay. Del Curry, oh, other Del Curry retires. I was confused for a second. Here we go. Let's go next season. All right, year two, Kevin McHale jumps up to an 86. And then Jason Terry to 82. There's nobody at 81. Lou Will is still only in 73. And it kind of makes sense, I guess, with all these guys. Because some of these guys did start during their career. I don't think Lou Will... Maybe for like a few years he started, but if you look at the rotation, you know, simulate one game, we end up winning, crushed them, 129-102. But if you look at the rotation, 
we have the same no Ginobili is a starting shooting guard and Jamal Crawford is sixth man so I like that and then Lou Will is getting no minutes per game I prefer him and Ricky or no him and John Starks to switch minutes that way we can have uh, Lou Will you know progress because if they don't play the overalls does not really change at all so here we go you're number two Hopefully with the playoffs this season. And year number two, our record is looking much, much better. We have 52 wins and 30 L's. LeBron wins MVP. And sixth man goes to this guy, Ronald Murray, once again. And he's putting up numbers that six men don't get. 20, 23 points per game is kind of crazy. And then most improved is Chris Bosh with the Blazers. This is annoying. But we do have Mikhail, all defensive first team for us. And then that's the only person from our team that made it. But on the bright side, we're the fourth seat in the Eastern Conference. Let's look at our team now. So Kevin McHale's 87, he averaged 17 and 10, so a cool double-double. Ginobili with 17, five and five. Here, I wanna see, we can see who scored the most on our team. And yeah, it'd be Kevin McHale. Yeah, Kevin McHale, Manu, and Lamar Odom all dropping 17 points per game. And then Lou Will, still not playing at all. Only eight games, even after I changed the rotation, which I don't know why it automatically adjusted, but yeah, he got four points a game. And then Ricky Pierce, I mean, they're not really playing much either, but. Jamal Crawford, game 14, two rebounds and three assists. So we're up against the Knicks, the fifth seed Knicks. They were not, they're not that good, I don't think. They got Mo Peterson, Eddie Curry, and Quentin Richardson. Yeah, not much. I think we should probably 4-1 them. They take game one, we take game two. They're up 2-1, two, 2-2, two, two, and we're up 3-2. Let's see what with SimCast here. And I'll probably be hopping in a lot more games in this video just because I'm curious to see what happens here. We're, ah, it's a close game right here. And I think I'm gonna jump in right here. Two minutes left, we're up by three. And my game crashed, all right. All right, 2K, all right. So I guess we're not gonna hop into games in this video, which uh, blame 2K, not me. Luckily, it was only the first round with the playoff, with the bracket like reset, so let's try this again. 1-0, 2-0, and this actually worked out even better. Yeah, this worked out perfectly, we swept him. So I wanna see who ended up scoring the most for us. Lamar Odom had 25 in game four. We kind of crushed him every game. Yeah, every game we're looking good. Ginobili with 22. So then round two, we're up against the first seed, 76ers, who just are coming off a of ring. I think they have Allen Iverson still. Yeah, they have AI, Chris Webber, and Samuel Danlebear. And the most clutch player, Andre Iguodala. I'm definitely doing a video of the clutchest players all playing on the same team, and Iggy's going to be on that, on that roster. So him, Jamal Mashburn, they have the best team in the league overall-wise, I think. So here we go. Game one, we somehow take it 1-1. 2-1, and I think we got lucky in that first game, yeah. Oh, 3-2, hold on. Odom, Ginobili, and Jason Terry all dropping 20 points. That's the thing, too. These guys are probably the most efficient players, if you think about it, the sixth man, because, you know, they don't get that much minutes, but they still contribute a lot. So all these guys are going to be efficient, which means they're all going to drop like 20 a game. It makes a lot of sense. Let's try one more game here. 3-3, three three, yeah. So we're going to a game seven. After Odom dropped 36, yeah, Lamar Odom is pretty good, so I'll take that. And we'll hop into SimCast here. And it's too bad I can't actually hop in the games and, and play, but or watch watch their actual games. But it's not looking good for us here anyway. Unless we come back, which it was close. Lost by six. Not bad at all. Chris Webber and, and Jamal Mashburn both dropped 20. Okay, we lose in our second year, but I'm not I'm not even mad at it to be honest. I think you know we're on the right track. And they win another ring going back to back. Year number three, and I think this roster is perfect for a ring because we're all in the mid 80s and then we have a 90 overall big guy in Kevin McHale. So I think this is our best season, our best chance to win a ring here. The age 22 on average, Lamar Odom's only 19 after playing two years. So I'm still upset Lou Williams hasn't really progressed. He's a 77 overall, so that's some progression, but I'm expecting like a you know 87 overall. His peak starts at age 25. But his potential, yeah, his potential isn't that high, to be honest. But it's all good. As long as Manu, you know, Jason Terry, and Kevin McHale carry, we'll be all right. And our best season, it only took three years to end up winning how many? 68 games, which is really good. Brian wins MVP again. Durant, Rookie of the Year in Boston. And sixth man is Stephon Marbury now. I want to be one of our guys, but it's all good. Most improved is John Starks, who is one of our players. So I'll take that. He averaged how many points? 15 points. I will take that. Any All-NBA players? No. It's all good, we don't need it. We're the first seed. So, we're the first seed. We have to win a ring this year. Mikhail's 91 overall. We have 88 overall players. I'm surprised that Jason Terry is as high as he is. Um, I thought it would take him a minute, but he averaged 18 this season. Ginobili with 21, and then Mikhail with 17 and 11. 
He's getting all the reads because he's our only big guy. Actually, no, Lamar owed him too. Yeah, he's averaging 17. And Jamal Crawford, how's he doing? Only nine points, damn. And then Lou Will, he's uh, he's not, I mean, he averaged four points a game, but I think he only played like three games. So here we go. This is our best chance to win a ring. And we could probably, you know, win multiple in a row, but one at a time, we're back up against Philadelphia. Game one, we take it and we go ahead and beat them 4-1. Now we have a real challenge, the Cavaliers. We got LeBron, the MVP. Do they have anybody else? Nah, just LeBron. I think the rest of these guys aren't much of an issue. They do have Udonis Saslam, who is probably gonna be our second biggest challenge. So hopefully Mikael can stop him. Game one, we take it. Game two, two one, hold on. Three one, and it looks like we are going to the finals in year three. So I do wanna see the boss score though. Who's our you know main player? Kevin McHale, he dropped 24. Lamar Odom, Jason Terry, Ginobili, John Starks. Actually, everyone is everyone is scoring. It's not just one or two people. Yeah, it's, all these guys are getting buckets. They got T-Mac and Yao Ming. I don't know if we can stop these two. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we can. This will probably go to a, a game seven if we, if we do win it. Game one, we take it. It was a pretty high scoring game. Yeah, everyone filled up the, the, yeah, we had like what? Eight players in double digits? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven players, double digit scoring. And then T-Mac dropped 32 and nine, okay. Game two, we take that as well. 3-0, and we swept them. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> so they could, they can't win a ring. And Manu Ginobili wins finals MVP, getting 25 points and 10 assists. I do wanna see the box score here. So in game two, Jason Terry dropped 38 points. He hit 10 threes. And then Mikhail had 24, Ginobili with 20. And then the next game, Ginobili had 35. Terry had 26, Mikhail with 23. I did not expect that this early. So one ring down, now we'll just see how many we could win. I think we can win six now. Year number four, Mikhail's still our best player. These guys are only 23 and 24 years old. And then Lou Will, gotta keep on checking on him. 79 overall, okay. How's Del Curry doing, by the way? He's getting nine, last season was his best season. Okay, let's go back to back. And of course, we still have to win an MVP with one of our guys. That's the challenge will be complete if we win an MVP or six man with one of our guys. We got most improved. And so far we're undefeated, we lost one game. We could probably win like 75 games in a year, I think. That'd be like another goal to set. And Braun wins it again, of course, every video, he's, he's always gonna win it. This time, this dude Ronald Murray is starting to piss me off, bro. Everywhere he goes now. Actually, no, the Supersonics transitioned to the Thunder, so he's on the same team. But they should just give him a starting spot at this point, if he's averaging 23 points. And then, yeah, I don't know, that's whatever. Okay, it's all good. Our players are not all NBA. That's not what it's about though. We changed our logo, we updated it now, so maybe that'll, uh, I don't know, 90 overall, 90 overall. I do wanna see our, our standings though. We won 70 games, so yeah, we did end up winning 70. We're scoring 129 points, which is the best in the league by, by a good amount, by 12 points. And then we're allowing 110, which is like the fifth best in the league. So the point difference, is 19 every single game. And then for player stats, we have Mikhail with 16 and 10, Manu with 21 points. Yeah, a lot of people in double digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people averaging double digit points, which is really good. You rarely see that on these teams. So this is working out really well so far. We can go back to back. I'm gonna with the entire playoffs here. We sweep the first round. Second round, we sweep that as well. And wow. We lost two games in the entire playoffs and Kevin McHale wins finals MVP. So they're taking turns against the Hornets. Let's see how uh, the stat line was. McHale with 29 and 10. Terry Minobili with 20. Okay. And then yeah, John Starks. I'm kind of confused on how McHale ended up winning it, but I'll take it. Now Kyle Lowry. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm not going to give up till we, till we win one at least. But yeah, Kyle Lowry is six man, which is a crime in itself. He should be a starter. And we have once again none of our players here is what it is we're the first seed again how we do how we're doing in our i think it's our fifth year now yeah fifth year we same record 70 and, and 12 yet yeah, they're the same exact thing so deja vu and mikhail's a 94 dang you know i'm really surprised that like lamar odom and terry are 91 overalls i thought they'd be a little bit lower even like del curry hitting 86 is impressive jamal crawford 84 lou will has not done a thing and I, it's not even his fault. It's just our team is too stacked. We don't need him. And it's crazy because most people would think he's the best six man of all time, yet he's done nothing in this video so far because there's just better players. And first round, we went 4 1, then 4 2, 4 1, and we 3 P. Jeez, Lamar Odom wins finals MVP, so literally everybody taking turns. And our 
Best record to date. How many wins? 70. I couldn't even see. Wow, we did it. Kevin McHale wins MVP. So for one, Kevin McHale would never win MVP in these simulations. But for some, I don't know how he ended up winning it. I'm actually really surprised. 20 points in San Reese, he won it. And six man goes to Kyle Lowry again. We can't have everything. But we got MVP, which was a goal. I was just talking. I don't really think we would get it. But I mean, we got it. MVP. And we also had most improved at one point. All that's missing is six man. Then I'll be happy. So yeah, Kevin McHale's all NBA first team. And let's see the rest. Yes, yeah, so we ended up winning 76 games, which is 24 more than the second best team. Dang. Yeah, and then we ended up averaging 130, letting 107. Jeez. And if we look at the team, our best players, Mikhail with 20, Lamar Odom averaged even more with 21 points, Terry with 18, Ginobili with 18, Starks with 12. We got Jameer Nelson for some reason. I don't know why he joined the team. And Lou Will still not playing at all, but he's 80 overall. So I, I think we'll just take the outline Lou Will, him and Ricky Pierce, and Jamal Crawford, honestly, too. For some, Yeah, for some reason. But yeah, the rest of these guys, Jason Terry, Ginobili, John Starks, they're still crushing it. And we can win four rings in a row. Which, it's funny because we've done videos where we teamed up really good players and we couldn't win this many rings in a row. And with six men, we just won four rings in a row. And also, we only have like two big guys and like they're like 6'10 power forwards. And I think we just pulled off the second or third best record I've ever had in a simulation. 78 wins, I think it was. Six man is Ron Murray again. All right, whatever. But no, I, yeah, we're the first seed, but I think we almost won 80 games. Let me, let me check. 78 wins, bro. And if you look at this team, Nothing that really stands out. Okay, yeah, we have a bunch of 90 overall players, but they just, they mesh really well together. 95 for uh, Mikhail, 93 for Odom, 92 for Terry, 91 Ginobili, even Dallas Shrimp, who I kind of forgot about him. He's averaging, you know, about 13 points a game for us. I'm really impressed because all these guys are guards and small forwards, with only one power forward, yet we have the best record. Even Lou Will, he dropped zero points a game, which is, you know, it's, you know, it's horrible, but we're gonna make a five rings in a row. Once we get a six, I'll stop because I think that'll answer our question. Like we can win as many as we want, but I just want to get the six just for the theme of this video. And we do. All right, what's the bot score? I want to see. Game one, Mikhail had 25, 23, 21, 18, 18. You don't see this, bro. In any other video, you don't see the stat line from, from my team. So yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. Even deadlift shrimp, 29, six and 10. This is what I was talking about, how they're efficient. You see how they're shooting nine for 10, nine for 13. This is all like 70% shooting because that makes sense, six men have to be efficient. They gotta make the most of their time, and they really are. So one more season, we'll give it a shot and see if we can make a six in a row, which I'll be very, very, very surprised. This season though, our record uh, dips down to only 68 wins, only 68 wins. And can we have it? No, Dirk, how is Dirk a sixth man? What? What? Yeah, that makes no sense at all. Yeah, no players for us. Oh, we have Mikhail and Lamar Odom ends up being all NBA third team. So, hey, we're the first seed again. Can we have a six in a row? This would be it right here. Let me just check real quick the uh, award history. Yeah, five rings in a row. If we make it six in a row, we can end off on a high note. Please. Come on. 3-1. 4-1. Yes. 4-1 again. 4-1. And we swept them. Six rings in a row for the six man in Toronto, in the six. I mean, that's 6-6-6. Six, six, six. All right. All right. Let me stop. But look, I mean, 4-0 is crazy. We have Odom getting 24. Mikhail 24. We kind of crushed them every game. Seven points here. Seven point victory. Jason Terry with 43 points. Yeah, I mean, these guys are all shooters too. They could all shoot the three. Look at this one. Game three, we won by 151 to 116. It's crazy. Look at that. Two 30 uh, point players. Jason Terry had 15 assists. Mikhail with 15 reads. Damn. And we did it. So I guess now we can just kind of recap on what happened. Um, so Kevin Mikhail, he won one MVP, six rings, and three All Stars. Nobody won six man of the year. But he was first team all NBA and third team all NBA. Lamar Odom, three time all star, third team all NBA. Jason Terry, I don't think anybody else, yeah, everybody else just won rings. No other awards. Which, to be honest, it was fine with me. If I was them, I'd be happy too. But I do want to see like some uh, career high stats. So for Kevin McHale, 37 points was the most. Lamar Odom, 47. Terry, 45. Ginobili, 42. Um, What about. Yeah, John Starks, 39. Jamal Crawford had 28 points, the most in this game, and Lou Will, 22, the most in his career. But let's see how much these guys average, because like I said, you rarely see these many players on a team put up double digit numbers all at once. So 17 and 10 for Kevin McHale. Lamar Odom, he had 19 and eight. Jason Terry with a cool 17 and seven. And Manu Ginobili, 
with 18 and 7. The rest, not, you know, about 15 points. Double digits. I'm, I'm very surprised. This went a lot better than I could have expected. But yeah, the best six man can win six rings in a row in 2K23. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.